Hey, what is up everyone? This is iReviews back with another top tweaks video. This time I will show you 50 tweaks that are compatible with 9.2 up to 9.3.3. Just notice that some of these tweaks are paid tweaks, which means that you can't purchase them right now at this moment in Cydia, but if you have purchased them before, you can just go ahead and log in into your Cydia account and add them to your device. It's pretty simple to do. Harbor. This is a cool dock tweak which allows you to add as many icons as you want to the dock and it has these awesome animations you can see when you slide the finger on the dock you can simply release the finger like this and it will open that app. Icon Renamer This tweak allows you to rename any of the icons on your home screen. You just tap an icon then when it goes to the wiggle mode double tap it and here you can see now you can enter any name you want for that icon just click apply here and it will change the name of that app multi icon mover this is a very useful tweak which allows us to move multiple icons at a time all you have to do is just tap and hold to go to the wiggle mode and then just tap the icons you can see here it will show this check mark then just go to the page that you want to add them to press the home button and it will transfer them to that page Aurea LS. As you can see right here, this tweak will make your lock screen look nice and simple. You can see just this clock in the middle of the screen. It looks pretty awesome. Now if we jump to the settings of this tweak, here you have different clock types that you can choose to have text, digital and an analog clock. Full Folder 9. This tweak gives your folders a full screen view so you can see when I open the folder a full screen view here it doesn't show just a small folder but it will show the folder and the apps on the entire screen grabber app 8 this tweak allows us to have a second grabber on the lock screen of your device so you have the camera and here you can add any of your apps as you can see here I have the calculator and it's pretty awesome so to do that you go to the settings of this tweak you enable it here go here to left grabber and pick any grabber you want you can also change here the camera grabber to any other app you want color banners this tweak allows you to customize the colors of the banners on your lock screen the banners here and also the banners on your notification center so you can see here we have a test banner so you can tap here to test a banner and when you customize one of them as you can see you can customize them here you can change the corner radius you can change the blur and stuff like that then you can test them to see how they look color font 2 gives you the ability to change the color of the fonts on your device so you can see here i have all black fonts and if you go to the settings of this tweak you can choose white camelone or you can choose black color you can also enable dark style for the control center i widgets this is another famous jailbreak tweak which allows you to add widgets to the home screen of your device and it's compatible with 9.2 up to 9.3.3 you just tap and hold the screen and then you choose the widget that you want to add and you can add it to your home screen you can also download more widgets from Cydia just search for i widgets record and torch this tweak allows you to turn on and off the flashlight on your device while you're recording a video album art center this tweak will set the album art of the song that you're listening to as the background of your control center so as you can see right here now i have configured it to be just on the background of the controls but if you go to the settings you can choose the position so you can set it as the background of the controls or the background of the entire control center Repower. On your iOS device, when you go to your power down menu, all you have here is slide to power up. But with this tweak, it gives you more options. You have slide to reboot and also slide to respring. Under these settings, there's nothing to configure. All you have here is an enable button to enable and disable this tweak. Alkaline. This tweak allows you to customize the battery indicator on the status bar of your device. So if you jump to the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button. Then here you have theme, if you go here, you have three different themes that you can choose from and apply them to your device. OXO 3, this tweak brings a new way to interact with your device. So if you swipe up from the bottom of your device, you won't see your control center, but you will see your app switcher combined with the control center and music controls like this. And as you can see, they look pretty awesome. 
also it has different gestures like you can swipe from the corner here to go to a quick app switcher and switch between apps like this or from this corner you can close the apps or lock your device if you're on your home screen you just swipe here and lock your device barrel barrel is one of the most famous city tweaks ever and it gives you these awesome animations when you swipe through the pages on your home screen you can see they look pretty awesome now if you go to barrel here you can change and choose different animations as you can see here you have a lot of animations that you can choose from and if you want to disable it you just click here normal no effect and you can disable this tweak virtual home this is a very useful tweak which will turn the home button into a virtual home button so you can see i can just tap i don't have to press the home button just tap to go to the home screen double tap it to go to the reachability view tap and hold to go to the app switcher which is pretty awesome also tap and then hold to lock the device insta better this tweak adds some really cool features to the instagram app so you can tap and hold on a picture to zoom in like this which is pretty awesome you can also save any media like pictures and videos from instagram to your camera roll and it also adds some cool new features like you can take a look at the profile picture by double tapping on it and some other cool features which are very useful cylinder this tweak gives you these awesome animations when you swipe through the pages on your home screen now to change these animations you need to go to your settings go to cylinder and here you have an enable button to enable it and then here you have different effects which you can choose from and apply them to your device you can also choose more than one effect and create different formulas swipe home this tweak allows to easily close all the background running apps simply by swiping up the home card on the app switcher swipe for more this tweak allows to easily remove or install tweaks on Cydia all you have to do is just swipe on a tweak like this and as you can see I can go ahead and quickly remove it from here you can do the same thing to install tweaks so you can install them faster and remove them faster Berry C8 this tweak allows to open apps directly from the lock screen of your device so all you have to do is just pick the apps that you want to see on your lock screen then you can just drag them here and it will open that app now to choose the apps you need to go to settings go to Barry c8 enable it and then here you have app shortcuts here you have 12 apps that you can add to your lock screen just go to one of them and pick any app you want blurred this is a simple keyboard tweak which replaces the stock white keyboard of your device with this darker keyboard and it looks pretty awesome under the settings of this tweak all you have here is an enable button to enable or disable this tweak Bida font 3 Bida font is a well-known Cydia app which allows to change the font of your device and now it works with 9.3.3 so what you need to do here is just open the app and if you go here to swap mode you can swap between different fonts if you want to get fonts you can get them from Cydia or you can go here most downloaded or recent and you can download different fonts for your device delete cut this is a very useful tweak which allows you to easily delete text so you can delete the complete word with just one tap so you can see like this you can only delete letters but if you tap and hold the shift button you can see the delete button will turn red you tap on it and as you can see it will completely delete the entire word delete forever you know on ios 9 when you delete a picture it will place it on the recently deleted folder and you will have to go there and delete it once again if you want to completely remove it from your device but with this tweak when you want to delete a picture it will ask you if you want to delete it or if you want to delete it permanently from your device you click here and now this picture is gone it won't be on the recently deleted folder see clean this tweak allows you to customize the control center of your device as you can see here on the control center of my device no backgrounds on these sliders it looks pretty awesome and you can do all that by going to the settings of this tweak here is where you can hide all this stuff hide the backgrounds hide the labels hide the backgrounds of the toggles and also you can go here and hide even more stuff you can hide any of these sections of the control center nude keys this is a pretty awesome tweak which allows you to customize the keyboard on your ios 9 device 
so as you can see right here it will remove the little backgrounds from all the letters and you will just have a flat keyboard and you can also change the color of the keyboard's background cc settings this is one of the most useful city tweaks which allows you to add more toggles to the control center of your device as you can see you can add a lot more toggles and you can also rearrange them or remove any of them you can do all that by going to the settings of this tweak you have all the included toggles if you want to remove one of them just scroll it down here to the do not do not include section cream this tweak will colorize the toggles of the control center on your device so as you can see right here all the toggles have different colors and they look pretty awesome Custom cover. This tweak allows you to customize the cover on the lock screen of your device. As you can see here a CD case which looks pretty dope. Now to do that you need to go to the settings of this tweak and here you have different themes which you can choose from and apply them to the lock screen of your device. Blurry badges. This tweak will customize the badges on your device. So as you can see here the badges are blurred and the color of the badges is based on the color of the icon. If you go to the settings of this tweak, you can choose here the border size, also the border color, and you can set also here the badge tint with the slider right here. Safari tab count. So what this tweak does is that it will count how many tabs you have opened in Safari. So if you look down here, you have the number which shows how many tabs you have opened in the background. Double cut. This tweak allows you to easily enter your email anywhere simply by double tapping the add key on the keyboard. Now the first thing you will need to do is open settings, go to double cut and enter your email right there. So when you want to enter your email somewhere, all you have to do is just go ahead and double tap the add button and as you can see it will add your email. Hot dog. This tweak allows you to customize the lock screen of your device. So as you can see right here, the clock on the lock screen of my device is red and also instead of slide to unlock, I have iReviews. So if you jump to the settings of this tweak, you can see here all these sections of the lock screen that you can customize using this tweak. HUD Dismiss. This is also a simple tweak, but it's very useful. You know, sometimes the HUD, the volume HUD of your device takes a long time to go away and it might interrupt you but with this tweak all you have to do is just tap on it and you will dismiss it. Lithium. This tweak customizes the battery indicator on the status bar of your device. So if you go to the settings of this tweak you have an enable button then here you have theme. If you go here you have two different themes which you can use on your device. Lock Glyph. This tweak gives you this awesome animation. When you unlock your device using your Touch ID, it has an awesome animation and also a sound. You can also customize the way it looks by going to the settings, go to Log Glyph, here you have Behavior, and then here you have Appearance. If you go here, you can choose different themes, and you can also change the color of the animation on the lock screen of your device. Minimal Hood. This tweak will replace the stock volume hood of your iOS 9 device, and as you can see right here on the right side of my device, this custom hood, it looks pretty awesome. You also have different themes to choose from. So if you go to the settings of this tweak, here you have theme. If you go here, you can choose different themes and you can also change its location. Power tap. If you go to the power down menu of your device, you can simply tap here on the button to change from slide to power off to slide to respring, slide to reboot and slide to go to the safe mode which is pretty useful. Pull to respring. If you need to quickly respring your device, then this tweak allows you to do that simply by swiping here on the settings apps, just pull like this, and now it will respring your device. Reveal NC9. This tweak will give this awesome animation to the notification center of your device. When you slide it down, you can see this awesome animation. I think this animation is on Android devices and now this tweak brings it to iOS. It looks pretty cool and it doesn't have any options to configure. Roundification. This tweak will make the corners of the dock, the notification center and also the control center rounded. As you can see they look pretty awesome and this control center might remind you of the control center on the new iOS 10. I'm not saying that Apple stole this from jailbreaking but you be the judge, it looks exactly like this. Front flash. This tweak will add 
a front flash on the front camera of your iPhone which is pretty cool. So as you can see it will turn the screen completely white and it will act as a flashlight for your front camera. Same status, you know on iOS the status bar on the lock screen is bigger than the status bar on the home screen but this tweak will make them the same size so when you unlock your device you won't see a change on the status bar it will be the same size as the status bar on the home screen. Shy page dots. This is a simple tweak, all it does is that it will remove the page dots from the home screen of your device. Speed intensifier. So this tweak will intensify the speed of your animations on the device. So you can see when I open and close the app, you can see how fast the animation is. And if you go to the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button and then here you can set different speeds for the animations of your device. Swipe selection. This is a very useful tweak which allows you to move the cursor anywhere on the text simply by swiping on the keyboard of your device. Now this is a feature of devices with force touch but with this tweak you can have it on any device. Also this tweak doesn't have any options to configure, all you have to do is just install it. Transparent Dock. This is a simple tweak, all it does is that it will remove the background from the dock of your device so you will have a clear dock without a background. This tweak doesn't have any options to configure. System Aperio. This tweak will add this blur here on top of the control center. As you can see normally here you will have just a fade right here and you can see the icons on the home screen but with this tweak you will have a nice blur which goes pretty well with the look of the control center. Spotlight be gone. If you don't want to see your spotlight search on your home screen, you accidentally launch it and you get annoyed by that, you can disable it using this tweak. So it has two buttons right here, you can disable this swipe from the left spotlight and also the swipe down spotlight. As you can see here, if I swipe down on the home screen, nothing happens, there is no spotlight search. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, for more awesome videos please make sure to subscribe, also go ahead and follow me on all my social media, you will find the links in the description of this video.